Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I'm currently an intern at a research lab in Singapore. My days usually start at 6am with an internal debate on the sustainability of such an early wake-up call. I go through the typical life maintenance activities like cleaning your oral surfaces, then I change into some sweat absorbance clothing and head off to the gym. At the gym, I have the additional courage to film myself as it is a Friday and the crowd seems to have taken an early weekend off. Happily, I place on my stuff and begin a simple workout. It's nothing too fancy, but as with most people trying to film a day in their life, a gym workout seems to be an essential criteria to give off an impression that I'm productive and stuff. After the gym session, I begin the journey home, bobbing my head to Disney songs, believe it or not, playlist in the description. It is usually at this time that I take a second to marvel at the sunrise while trying to stay alive from the half-awake people driving themselves to work. Then I get a surprise text from my friend Tim, who may potentially make this day a little more interesting. At home, I unpack the stuff from the gym and prepare to dump them in the laundry, I shower and eat like most creatures do in our society, then I sit back at my desk and begin some studying. This happens on a very rare occasion as usually, I'll be out of the door by 8am to head to work, but on today's agenda, we have a fortnightly team meeting on Zoom which I'm told you can attend from the comforts of your home, so while waiting for that, I decide to do some quick studying as I suspect I wouldn't have time to do it at night. After studying for about 30 minutes, I log onto our team meeting call. The presenter is someone from my team, which makes this talk particularly interesting as it gives me an opportunity to learn more about my team project that I've only recently joined as I am a new intern. The call ends in about 40 minutes and I change up to prepare to head to work. I'm forced to make the choice of wearing normal shoes or wearing basketball shoes, which is signaling what the text from Tim this morning entail. Deciding that my muscles have had enough endurance training this morning, I decide I don't want the additional weight of another pair of shoe in my bag, so I just wear this bright yellow curry aids and head to work. Of course, the journey there was interesting. I definitely got plenty of stares as I was doing two abnormal things in public. Number one, wearing this outlandish pair of sexy basketball shoes. Number two, setting up a camera, walking past it, and running back to get it. I must have been so obvious that I got the attention of one of the security guards working there who tells me that I'm not allowed to film the buildings. So yeah, kaput. I make my way to the office at about 10.15 and the day begins. It is also at this point that I have to state a disclaimer for legal reasons, the all scientific footage from this point on were either filmed from my school lab or stock footage I found online, so definitely no filming of the office labs. The first thing I do in the morning is to always check on the health of my babies, I mean cells. The first thing I do is view them under the microscope, ensuring there's no contamination, then I bring them to an imager that allows me to take photos of them so that I can present these pictures to my bosses. Then I split the cells, which is basically removing a set amount of cells from the current pool of cells, giving it new media, which is essentially food, and allowing them to grow even more. Then I also have to do more stuff that involve pipetting very delicate amounts of solutions and cells without creating bubbles. Just imagine this having to make soapy water without creating bubbles. After playing around with my hands, a very poor choice of words, it is now lunchtime. The fellow interns and trainees head out for lunch to a nearby hockey centre. We take away our food as the current restrictions do not allow us to eat as a group in public, so we have to eat in the pantry at separate tables. Along the way back, I filmed some scenery which left some of the peers wondering if I was a weird guy or not. I eat my lunch, then I continue work. The afternoon isn't as interesting as I'm mostly reading papers after papers after papers, so to signal the passage of time, there's a quick time lapse. I get off work at about 6.15 and it's time to make my way to basketball. The main mode of transport is the train, so here's some train footage. Because I'm still in work attire, I have to change in some very cramped toilet, which is a little annoying as I'll potentially have to step in someone's waist, literally with my basketball shoes. A quick change later and a quick plug of the school that I'm from, I finally on the journey to the basketball court. It seems like it was going to rain, but thankfully it wasn't so bad. So I guess the big guy was looking out for me. I make my way to the court and it's already dark. Tim and I play a game against some kids and a series of 1 vs 1. Yes, the numbers are 3 vs 2 because the current limit for social gatherings is 5. After playing, we sit down on the court, rehydrating ourselves and talking about how it's crazy that we aren't technically working adults. Then it begins pouring, we move the kids' stuff to a sheltered surface as they ask if we could take care of their stuff which makes us feel responsible for the items. To try and wait out the rain, Tim and I have a cold dinner from a store that was on the verge of closing for the night. Again, during dinner, we talk about everything and nothing, depending on your point of view. As the rain gradually went away, we went up to his house to shower, and of course, as tradition dictates, play a quick round of FIFA and 2K. As always, Tim destroys me with my golden excuse being, I don't play games. We then say our goodbyes, laughing at the camera placement and me having to leave the house and come back to get it again. 
but anything for the vlog. I book a cab as it is rather late and I fear that it may rain again. While waiting for the cab, I'm texting a good friend who's in Australia. I'm mainly wondering why she's still awake at this time zone difference which would suggest that she's probably caffeinated at this hour. The cab arrives and I make my way home. On the ride back, I'm staring out the window in silence as I contemplate on what I'll be doing the next day. It's always nice taking some time to yourself to reflect and just process everything around you. Anyway, thank you all so much for following me on this day in the life of a research intern. If you want to check out more vlogs, then they should have appeared on the screen by now. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.